Somebody woke up from his nap to die. You got boogers. Hi. Come here, big boy. Oof. Yeah, hello, everybody. Oh. <gasps> what? <laughs> what a way to start the vlog, buddy. All right. Oof. That stinks. All right, let's get you out of this thing. Flynn's wearing a hat. You want us to show the hat? <laughs> Looking good, dude. So we're going through all the hats I have in my house. Maisie's gonna show them all to you. This one, very nice. Look at that one. This one, a classic. Looking good. You do How about the dinosaur one for me? I'll put this one on. Oh, that's a baby bonnet. It's a little big for this baby, though. Look at the Christmas tree, Maisie. Ta-da! What do you think, Maisie? Do you like it? You look beautiful. I think we're done with that. Maisie, do you want a ball? <laughs> cool hat. You look awesome, dude. Wesley is in Flynn's ball pit. Flynn, this is from when you were a baby. This was your ball pit from when you were Wesley's age. What do you think, Wesley? He's so confused by the hat. <laughs> Is that confusing, Wesley? He doesn't know how he feels about that. Maisie, looking good, girl. Looking beautiful, pretty lady. <laughs> oh, snatched your wig. There's a lot of weird stuff in mommy's office. <laughs> Okay, so my show is ever changing and we're going to Vegas in a couple weeks. So get your tickets if you haven't yet. And then we're going to Illinois and then all over Canada. Anyway, you can go just look at what, where I'm going. But um, the show is still new. And so there's a lot that's changing and stuff I'm gonna take out, new stuff I'm gonna put in because I'm still trying to figure out what I like and what I don't. One thing that I wanna fix and make better is this cape that I wear in the show. The way that I wear it right now, I have to like try to keep it closed and it just keeps flapping open. And then I'm just, all I'm thinking about is not performing. I'm thinking about keeping my cape closed. So I've got these magnets and there's little holes in the magnets that you can sew thread through. Whoop, and they're really strong. Sorry, you can hear my kids screaming downstairs. They're having fun. Then I also have these, which I don't really know what these do. I think these are kind of the same vibe where it's like the plastic you can sew or something. So I have my little sewing kit. I'm gonna sew on some magnets. Okay, moment of truth here. So normally I tie this around my neck. Now the hope would be that it just magnets on. Now the question is, will it stay on if I'm like dancing around and stuff? Mm -mm. It's a little questionable. It feels pretty sturdy, but I don't know. I also like frantically cut a hole in this during one of the shows and it looks insane. So I need to fix that. There's a lot I need to do with this cape to fix it. I should get on that. But I think that works. I think I think I can cut these off because I think that will work. Guys, I'm so crafty. Look at all these kids. There's so many kids in here. What are you doing fun? Are you making a video? Hi, Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Oh, Wesley, are you getting cozy over there? What do you think, Nancy Jo? No, no, no. <laughs> He's about to roll over. Good job. Crazy babies. Grumpy baby Maisie today. Cause she's teething. She got one tooth. The other one's coming through. She got a grumpy little baby face today. Trying to eat a nude. A nude. A nude. A nude. Eat a nude. We're eating nudes for dinner. No. Flynn made noodles. How's your nude? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Good. A real dinosaur. Oh my gosh, there's a dinosaur in here. 
Oh, it's just playing, oh. thank goodness. Oh, it's a real dinosaur. Oh. It's no, this is a dude. It's just a hat. It's just a hat? You're not a real dinosaur, are you sure? No. Are you nice? Yeah. Okay, phew. So I'm fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah! Don't eat me, dinosaur. <laughs> Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Oh, he's gonna eat. Oh, it's just Flynn. I thought, whoa! Oh, oh, no, no, I changed. Ah. Oh, he's gonna bite my hand? Oh, it's just you. Don't bite my hand. Ah. Your teeth are sharp. This is me, baby Flynn. I got a hat. Oh, cool hat, dude. What's oh, happening? Oh my god! <laughs> guys, it's okay, it's just Flynn! It's just Flynn, guys! Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've never heard him make that sound in my <laughs> life. Here, take it off so he's not scared. Can you take it off so you can show him that it's just you? Look! It's just Flynn! Gus, Gus, it's okay, it's just Flynn! Oh my gosh, I've never seen him do that. What is he doing, Flynn? <laughs> I don't know, let's we'll leave him alone. That's a good idea, let's leave him alone. Could you get my day surgery? Sure. I have never seen him do that or heard that sound before. And even showing him that it was Flynn, he was still like so freaked out. That was so weird. Gus, you okay? He's okay. God, he's, he's, I feel like he's gonna vomit. That must have stressed him out. Oh my gosh, poor little guy. That's so weird, Daisy literally didn't care at all. She had no brain. Okay, the baby's brain, gotta go. Um, I didn't really film anything else today, but I thought I would show you guys. Eric's right there, so I'm kind of talking to him slash talking to you. I used to show you, always show you guys like my milk bottle prep for the night with my breast milk, but now that I'm just doing formula, I'm gonna show you my milk prep now because it's different than it used to be. I will say it's easier because I don't have to warm the bottles because luckily my babies like room temperature formula. They don't need it warmed. So that makes my life a lot easier. Yes. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I just did really good sports. You did really good sports. For Diaper sports. So good. <laughs> In my experience with feeding babies, the hardest thing was pumping and feeding the baby's pumped milk because you pump it and then you have to refrigerate it and then you have to warm it and it was just like a whole thing. And then the second hardest is formula and the easiest for me was breastfeeding, but I know a lot of people that's like the hardest thing in the universe. But formula, feeding the baby's bottles at night is easier than getting breast milk out and warming it and pumping at night. Like that was so hard. So I'm very grateful for that. What I do is I get my bottles. Cause yes, my babies do not sleep through the night and yes, they still eat bottles in the middle of the night. Don't come for me. This is just how my babies are all. They all are like this. Flynn was like this until he was two. He just woke up all the time. He still wakes up all the time. My babies just don't like sleeping and it's cause I don't like sleeping so they got it from me. Sorry, lovey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know who loves to sleep? Eric Stockland. Oh, I love to sleep. I usually go through four bottles at night with them. They usually get two bottles throughout the night. But I always bring up six just in case. You never know. We do something loud for a second. Okay. Ah! Ah! So loud. Ah! Then I have my nipples. And these nipples, Daisy can't rip off with her teeth. But my actual human nipples, not so confident. I feel like uh, she definitely ripped those off. So she's been cut off. Um, and then I take all my bottles for pumping because I still do pump at night and in the morning. And so I take up my bottles that I pump into. And I also bring up bottles for me to pump into through if I need to pump tomorrow afternoon or whatever. I just kind of like, I'm constantly cycling out bottles. I know what my husband's thinking right now. He's thinking, who's this for? Who's watching this coin? Are you thinking that? Oh no, this will definitely be the highlight over Gus losing his Oh, I forgot about that. That was so crazy. I can't get over Gus. That was so wild. Gus freaked me out. No, I'm not thinking that way. I'm thinking it's great. I just kind of think of it as like you're doing what you always do every night, but you're just kind of talking to yourself out loud right now. Yeah, yeah. 
And then nipples for the pumping bottles in case, because sometimes I pump and then it's their feeding time, so I just give it to them right away. So this is my bucket that I take upstairs for bedtime. I also still bring up snacks. Lately, it's been Chewy Bars, and oh my gosh, you guys, my fave. Hold on, let me get it. Dang it! We're all out of them. They're like Nutella things. They're like little sticks with like Nutella, and you dip the sticks in the Nutella. Oh my gosh, three in the morning. Those are so, they're for me, girl. Why do you buy Oh, no, Flynn does like them, but he doesn't eat them. He doesn't know they exist because he's had them with me once and he loved them. And so I just haven't really let him know that we have those all the time now because I eat them in the middle of the night and I love them so much. Anyway, this is my bucket. I'm just bringing up chocolate chip chewy bars tonight. And this is my bucket for the evening slash day tomorrow. And that's my little nighttime routine. I take this up. Oh, and then what I do is I fill um, these bottles up to the amount. I usually still do four ounces. I do two bottles of four ounces for them at night. I fill it with water. So the water's ready and prepped. I'm gonna put the lid on so that it's safe and ready and it's on my counter next to the formula so in the middle of the night if they want milk. I all I have to do is put the scoops in and shake it up and go. I don't have to like be measuring out the water. So I prep all the bottles with water inside of them too. So that's the last thing I do. Cheers. I think I'm gonna make cookies. Eric says I should make cookies. Right love, you really want me to make cookies? Yeah, super bad. I haven't made cookies in a long time so I thought it'd be fun to make them because they're delicious and I'm gonna make cookies instead of uh, do work which is what I should be doing right now. All right, I'm just gonna make a half a batch and I'll see you guys later. I can't make any cookies because we're out of eggs. <laughs> so I'm very sad about that. No, no, don't leave to go get me eggs. Oh my gosh, please do not do that. Darn. Okay, guys, who is starting rumors about me? I mean, a lot of people, but I have to address this rumor that is so nuts. My sister-in-law texted me yesterday or something and was like, are you going to be on Grey's Anatomy? And I was like, what? And she was like, just tell me right now. And I was like, no, what are you talking about? And she sent me like a picture, like a screenshot of something where it was like a cast of people. And there was my picture and it said like a random name of a character. And it said I was playing some character on Grey's Anatomy. I don't know what this thing is and where it came from, but she said it was floating around on Twitter and she saw it and she was freaking out because she loves Grey's Anatomy. And I was like, that's definitely not true. I don't know where that came from, but that's not why. So I didn't know that it like people were actually thinking that I was on Grey's Anatomy because I thought maybe like she just misunderstood but she was like no people really think you're gonna be on it and I was like what? No whatever. So I didn't think much of it but I was just not reading the comments on the vlog I posted today and there's a comment that says hi Colleen you'll do awesome on the show Grey's Anatomy um and then she said some other stuff but like I'm not gonna be on Grey's Anatomy guys. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I would love that but I'm not gonna be on Grey's Anatomy. That is definitely not true. I don't know who started that as like they must have started as a joke or something but like people are believing it i guess um but yeah definitely not gonna be on Grey's anatomy sorry to burst your bubble there kids okay guys so i've debated talking about this or not and i'm not really gonna talk about it i'm just gonna bring it up quickly i would sit here and chat with you about you know who knows what random stuff about the kids or tortilla talk questions or whatever i'm stressed about in the day or whatever but honestly the only thing on my mind right now is the awful thing that happened today my heart is so so broken and so shattered for the parents and the families of the kids who are victims of the mass shooting today. There's just been so many mass shootings already this year. I mean, there was one in Buffalo that was horrible while I was on tour. That was terrifying and awful and devastating. And then to find out today that a bunch of children, I can't even say it. It's really upsetting. It's its really heartbreaking. It's really devastating. I just feel like i it's hard for me to even think about anything else or talk about anything else. I don't have the right words to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't know how to... I just feel really sad and my heart is so broken for those parents. I was cuddling Flynn to sleep tonight and just holding him and just, I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine. And I'm so confused and angry. There's not words to explain or describe how devastating it is. And I know everyone who knows about what happened feels the same way, I'm sure, because it's devastating, it's evil, it's awful, it's unimaginable, it's unimaginable. And I hate that there are people out there that it's not unimaginable because it actually happened to them. My heart is so broken for those people. I feel like I'm just blabbering. I don't have the right things to say. I could talk about something else right now, but it just feels weird and wrong to talk about anything other than this because in my vlogs, I always just talk about what I'm going through and what's happened to me that day or how what my feelings are. And I feel very devastated. It's very consu all consuming, you know, thinking about it tonight, you know, as a mom, it's awful. So yeah, my heart goes out to all those people and 
who've been affected personally by the shooting today and all the shootings that have happened this year and every year. It's just really sad. So anyway, um, I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.